So welcome to the Programming Fundamentals course. And this course, we're gonna be using Python to teach you the Programming Fundamentals. But for this specific class, we are going to talk about programming in general first, before we dive deep into Python. So basically, the first thing we have to do is understand what programming actually means. So in the end, programming is giving a set of instructions. So this is you, you're giving a, you wrote a set of instructions, and then you're going to pass it on to a computer so that the computer can execute. So that's essentially what programming is. It's this part, right? So you are doing the programming part. And the programming means telling the computer what to execute. And the computer, once they execute, you're going to get an output, depending on what you care about, it could be on a result, or just work in general. So essentially, you have the computer at your disposal, and they will do whatever you tell them to do. All right. So the act of writing this specific command is called coding. Programming is more of the abstract way of saying that you are telling a computer what to do, right? So that's essentially what programming is. One good comparison is if uh, the same thing happens where instead of a computer, you have another person, and then you write a recipe. So you write a recipe to cook, uh, let's say a pie or a cake, and then you give that recipe to that person, and then that person will follow it meticulously so that they can produce the actual cake or pie. I'm not sure what this is. So that's essentially what programming is. You're just giving instructions to something so that they can output something else. But instead here, it would be computer and that will be coding. Well, why do we care about computers? Why do we want computers to do things for us? Well, humans and computers are very different, right? So for example, let's say, let's say a very good example. If you ask a computer to do 1000 tasks, what they'll do is that the computer will do the same thing 1000 times, exactly the same way you told them to do, right? As for me, for example, if you tell me to make uh, 20 hamburgers, the first hamburger might look like this, but I guarantee you that the last hamburger that I'll make will probably look like this. Why? Well, that's because I'm inconsistent. And also us humans, we get bored repeating the same exact task. We're not going to be consistent. There are going to be some faults because we're human. We make mistakes. However, computers, they don't get bored. So if you ask a computer to make a hamburger, for example, they'll look exactly the same from top to bottom. So this is basically the whole premise of automation. We are delegating the boring task to the computer so that they can keep doing it. So as you can see, we already know that humans, um, they get bored and then computers, they don't get bored. So that's one advantage of computers, right? But humans, they're very creative, right? You know, us humans, if you ask us to say, pick a gift for your mother, we can come up with a few things because we understand context, we have experience and we can make a really good gift. If you ask that for a computer, they probably don't know how to do that. I mean, I guess the best example is if you're, you know, if you're asking your calculator to make a new sandwich recipe, do you think your calculator can do that? Probably not. But a simple calculator can multiply two numbers way faster than any humans can do. So that means they are very good at, well, computation. And then we are very good at detecting patterns. Things like looking at a person and understanding what emotions they're showing, that's pattern detection. We're very good at that. We're not going to talk about machine learning yet, but um, we'll see because machine learning is kind of doing this pretty well. <laughs> Anyways, this is, not, uh, this is not within the scope of our course, so we'll continue. So as you can see, humans are creative and they do a lot of interesting things, but they're not good at repeating tasks. So what we can do is we can give the computer to repeat those tasks and they do it really, really fast, which is great. And one last thing, like I said before, computers, they follow recipes meticulously. So they, they follow blindly. They'll do exactly what you say. But then humans, we can infer certain things. There's actually a very funny joke. Well, I mean, it's not that funny, but there is a joke that 
explains this exactly. What these jokes would show is that humans are good at inferring things. That means you don't need to tell them exactly what to do, but they'll, they'll know what to do. Why? Because we have experience and we can infer certain things. But computers, they can't do that. They just do exactly what you tell them to do. Kind of like this programmer. So the joke is, wife sends her programmer husband grocery shopping. Okay. She tells him, I need butter, sugar, and cooking oil. Also, get a loaf of bread, and if they have eggs, get six. And then the husband returns with butter, okay, that's good. Sugar, okay, that's good. Cooking oil, great. As well as six loaves of bread. And then the wife asks, why the hell did you get six loaves of bread? To which the husband replies, they have eggs. So obviously, here the sentence also, get a loaf of bread, and if they have eggs, get six. They meant get six eggs, right? That's just how, you know, it's, it's very obvious. We're, no one's gonna buy six loaves of bread. And usually if they have eggs, then you get six. But this programmer husband is taking this sentence literally. So it means that you're reading, get a loaf of bread, okay. And if they have eggs, then get six. Six what? Loaf of breads, because you were talking about loaf of breads. So that's why computers are prone to errors and prone to bugs, not because of the computers themselves, but because of the humans writing it. Because the way we communicate is that we can omit certain things, but we still understand each other. However, for computers, they don't always because you need to be extremely precise. And that is basically the fundamental of programming, being able to communicate to computers very precisely so that they do exactly what you want them to do without errors. That's basically what this course is about. This is the foundational building block to creating all the software you see in the world, like apps on our phone, websites, and even your smart refrigerator. So you may have many questions already, but we will abstract a few things in this course, meaning we won't explain it because we have to focus on programming for now, right? So now that you need to know the act of programming so that you can build on top of that, it's kind of like if you want to build a house and you want to understand the whole architecture, all the physics behind it before learning how to put a brick on top of another brick. So once we get that down in future courses, we can talk about how things are built uh, how things work piece by piece. Right now, we need to focus on getting your logic and programming reasoning muscles strong. I'll see you in the next one.